Hi everybody. Right now I'm going to do a truth table for an AND statement. So remember, an AND statement in logic is represented by a dot. Uh, or in our textbook, an AND statement is represented by an ampersand. The name for that symbol is an ampersand. So, in order to analyze the value, the truth value, overall truth value of an AND statement, this is what you do. So, I'll use our textbook's symbolization, P and Q. So, what I'm saying here is that, for example, I have plums and, well, let's just say I have apples and I have oranges. And to set up a truth table, if you have two variables, you put those out to the left-hand side. And make a little graph. Now, when you have two variables, there are four lines in your truth table. So just memorize that. Whenever you have two variables, there are four lines. That means there are four different ways that we can combine the truth values of P and Q. But again, without getting too technical, let's just begin. So when you set up your truth table, on the right-hand side, I want you to, because we know there are four lines, I want you to just write TF, TF. So with the right-hand variable, you alternate one, 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 one. And then as you move to the left, as you're setting up your truth table, you multiply the number of trues and falses by two. So in this line, instead of doing one, 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 we do two trues and two falses, just like this. Now, if you follow this method, instead of trying to think it out in your head like, well, what are the options for P and Q? Well, they can both be true. They can both be false, dot, dot, dot. Um, instead of trying to think of all the possibilities, because if you have three variables, there are actually eight possibilities. What you do here is you just use the same method each time. On the right-hand variable, you put TF, TF, and on the left-hand, you put TTFF. Now, technically, a variable should be written in lowercase letters, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Let's just call these variables. And the reason why we call them variables is because we can plug in anything here. I have apples and oranges. I have a brother and a sister. I have a mother and I have a father. So we call them variables just like in, in math because you can plug in anything you want into them. Now. The, th the key thing to remember when you're setting up a truth table is that you have to transfer all the truth values of the different variables over to the other part of your truth table. So if Q here is TF, TF, then in this line, Q needs to be T. In this line, it needs to be F. It needs to be T and then F. Now, what do you think you do for P? Well, the exact same thing. You transfer these truth values under P. True, true, false. False. I'm going to grab my other markers here. So, when is an AND statement true? Well, if we look at this, what we're saying here is if I say I have a brother and I have a sister. Let's say P is I have a brother and Q is I have a sister. Well, if it's true that I have a brother and it's true that I have a sister, then what is the overall value if I told you the statement, I have a brother and I have a sister? What would be the overall truth statement of the, the overall value, truth value of the statement if it's true that I have a brother and true that I have a sister? Well, you're right if you said true. It's true. An and statement is true when both variables are true. So if I tell you I have apples and I have oranges and I'm holding a bag that a paper bag that you can't see through, then if I did have apples and I did have oranges, uh, that statement would be true. Now, what if I tell you that I have a brother and I have a sister? It's true that I have a brother, but it's false that I have a sister. Then I'm lying to you, right? So the overall truth value of the statement, I have a brother and I have a sister, if I don't have a sister, is false. What if I tell you I have a brother and I have a sister? And then it's false that I have a brother, but it's true that I have a sister. 
Well, I'm still lying. Because in an and statement, we need both sides to be true in order for the statement to be true. If I'm lying about one thing, and I use the word and, then I'm lying about the whole thing. And then finally, what if I tell you I have a brother and I have a sister? And it's false that I have a brother, which means I don't have a brother. And it's false, the Q is false, the claim that I have a sister. I don't have a sister. Then what's the overall truth value? Well, this is like the biggest lying. These are like, I lied about one thing here and here. This is like, I lied about everything. This is like, I want you to be my friend. And the only way you're going to be my friend is if I tell you I have a brother and a sister. So I'm going to lie about it. Um, but then you'll find out anyway, and then you won't be my friend. So, in, a, in, a, in the truth table for an and statement, and it, the truth table for an and statement is always the same if you set it up this way. The only time an and statement is true is when both sides are true, and that probably makes sense to you. If I tell you that I have a brother and I have a sister, then both of those things have to be true for the entire statement to be true. Now, what we've done here is we've assigned a truth value to the and. Because the and really, the truth value of the and is going to be the truth value of the whole statement. So this middle line under the and represents the truth value of this whole statement. All right, so let's go back here one more time. I'm going to erase these. First thing to think about how many lines, meaning how many rows, does uh, a two-variable truth table contain? Remember, four. So when you have two variables, there are four lines or rows. So remember, the way that you set up your table without thinking about the truth values at all is you start on the right and you alternate one, 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 one you alternate truth values. So TF, TF. And then when you move over to the left one, you always multiply the number of shifts or the number of truth values by two. So you did one, 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 one. And so here we need to do two T's and two F's. If I tell you I have apples and oranges, I'm holding a bag, and it's true that I have apples, and it's true that I have oranges, then the overall statement is true. But every other case for an AND statement, if one, if P or Q, either P or Q are false, so for example, Q is false here, P is false here. If that's the case, then the whole thing is false. If they're both false, then that's like the biggest lying example, and that's also false. So AND statements, the only, the only row that's true in an AND statement is when both variables are true. See you next time.